All right, guys. So let me just break down the value box strategy real quick, okay, before we get into the starting point. So the value box, right? We're going to be focusing on swing highs and swing lows, okay? Swing highs and swing lows. And that's important because the value box is the candle directly to the left of that swing high or low. So let's go ahead and break this down real quick. I'm going to draw a simple, a simple structure real quick, right? Just so we can understand what's going on. We get a higher high, market's bullish right now. And as market's coming back down, we're going to go ahead and create some type of structure. Oops. All right, let's go ahead. Come here, my boy. Awesome. Now, let market break structure to the upside. Let it continue. Right, let it continue and do its thing. Totally, totally fine. Right, totally, totally fine. So let's go ahead. We need to find the swing high in this area. The swing high in this area. So this candle, I'm gonna go ahead and have it sell off. Right. All right, cool, guys. All right, so simple structure, right? We could all see it. it's a nice head and shoulder, right? We get higher high, higher low, higher high, and then we change character, right? So that's cool. We, we're, we're able to see it, right? But when it comes to the value box, guys, we need to be able to find the swing high or low. So in this example right here, the swing high, oops, is going to be this wick. Why is it this wick? Because this candle was before it was green. It pushed above this previous candle. It just ended up closing down a little bit below, right? And that's okay. But this wick right here is the highest um, point in this area. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a one if that makes sense. Let me know. Awesome. So what's up? So the value box, guys, the value box is going to be the candle directly to the left of the swing high. Boom, right here. The blue one, right? We're able to identify our swing high. And then the candle directly to the left is going to be your value box. Okay, so we're going to box that up. Boom. So this is going to be our point of interest right here, right? It, it can be a starting point, but it could also just be a regular candle, right? Because it's not focusing on a shoulder and it's not focusing on starting points, right? Are we, are we clear on that, guys? Let me know. Give me a five if we're clear. Uh, in this area, it would be the blue. So the blue can't. The, the blue arrow would be my starting point because it's the last buying candle before the rally, right? But the, the orange is going to be letting me know this is my swing high. Yeah, yeah this is my swing high. And levels will actually let you know. It, it's literally going to tell you where is your swing high and low. And then if when it's close to the market, it'll actually box up uh, your value box for you. And you just have to draw a box and send it across. So it, it actually helps you out. It, it does not solid, right? But... Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? We got some fives. Awesome. Yeah. So it could be a starting point and it can just be a regular candle, right? Because we're focused on the swing high and then the candle directly to the left. All right. So we're looking for sales. We can see the structure, right? We get this change of character. So as soon as market comes back anywhere in this area, guys, we're looking to take some sales. Right. And everything stays the same. You could enter at the beginning. As soon as it touches, you could enter at the 50%. That's totally up to you. It's optional. Whatever your preference is. I know Long, his, a lot of his entries are above the zone, right? He's looking for the snipe, and, and he's been killing it. So it's really up to you, guys. We, this whole blue zone is a sell zone, right? Where are you comfortable entering your trade, right? Give me a five if that makes sense, guys. I'll be honest. I'm more of the first touch. I want to get in as soon as it touches. I know Miguel, he likes to enter at that 50, and I've been seeing Long stay consistent with right up here. And it's all good. This whole blue box is the sell zone. We'll just move this to, to red because we're selling. Boom. So this is it right here, guys. Right? This is it right here. Now, this can be, 
we can use this on any time frame and we can use this whether it's rejecting off a starting point like if we're looking for sales and we just hit a starting point boom we can use this area as a confirmation for the next setup guys does that make sense right or it could just be a, a shoulder we could be on a shoulder play right we could be rejecting off a shoulder play right it does not matter we can use this setup right here we can use the value box setup on any on any uh point of interest we'd like right guys does that make sense or are we all good with that all right cool so now let's go ahead and then we'll break that down along with the starting point all right guys so Let's see. We did some buy examples. That was some sell examples. Let's do some buy examples. Let's do some buy examples. So market is bullish. You guys know the deal. Market is bullish right now, doing its thing, right? Sooner or later, it's going to have to pull back and make some type of structure. Come on, my boy. At some point, it's going to make some type of structure, right? Awesome. Let it do that. Right. For people who don't like to trade every day like myself, higher time frames is, is like perfect for this because you have to let structure develop. You know, when you're trading on lower time frame, a lot of this stuff happens really, really fast, which is why you're trading on that time frame. Right. You want it to happen quicker. But when you're on higher time frames, it's going to happen a whole lot slower. So it's all about patience. Right. But as of right now, all we have is higher high and higher low. We know we want to continue trend. So we need to break and close above. All right, let's pull this down here a little bit. Awesome. So let's go ahead. Come on, my boy. Let's go. We break and close above. Market is continuing trend, and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Awesome. We get a BOS, so let's go ahead and mark it up. <laughs> so cool. We, we get this. BOS, we can see we have a breakout rally, right? We need to find our starting point. And our starting point is going to be the last buying or selling candle before the breakout rally. So this is a bullish breakout rally right here, guys. We got a bullish breakout rally. So it'll be the last selling candle before this breakout rally. Boom. That's going to be my starting point. So let's go ahead and light that up. We'll put a box around that. And then we'll make that blue because that's what levels will have it. And levels will actually help you guys. So when when the market breaks out, levels will say, look, this is your BOS candle, right? And then you can press the blue box and then it'll highlight this last selling candle for you, which is super, super dope, right? So as of right now, we're missing one thing. Does anybody know what we're missing? We found our, our, our point of interest to buy, but what are we missing, guys? If anybody wants to take a guess, It's okay if you don't know. It's all good. We're missing our stop loss. So when we're able to find this breakout rally and we're able to find our last um, selling candle before the breakout, we need to find the lowest wick in that area. We need to find the lowest wick in this area, guys. Oops. Boom. And this wick will be my stop loss, right? So this is the setup right here that I'm looking at whether it's the first touch, whether it's the first touch, the 50% or the bottom of this box right here, right? Totally up to you on where you want to enter, right? Is this making sense, guys? Are we good right now? Yes, sir. All right, bet. So we know we want to continue trend, right? We're looking for buys. Now, guys, the one thing I want to start making clear in the next couple of sessions is where are we on the market? Where, where are we at in the market? You know, because sometimes we could be chilling right here inside consolidation for a couple of days, right? And people are buying and selling in this area. And they're right on top of a nice buy zone, right? And I know a lot of you guys trade lower time frames, So, you know, sometimes and I've been there myself where I don't even jump on the higher time frame to see where I'm at. You know, I've, I've jumped out of bed one time got into the chart, didn't even really analyze the higher time frame. And when it got to my zone, I got clapped because I wasn't even 
trading with the trend, right? So I would like to incorporate where are we on the chart, right? Where are we at? Okay, so as the market's dropping down, guys, again, levels focuses on pullbacks, right? Pullbacks. This whole thing is a pullback. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some detailed market structure for you guys. So you guys can go ahead and watch this back later and, you know, do what it do. And you guys have some good notes. Boom. So these one, these, these buying candles here, these are my pullbacks. Okay, I'm not going to make them all, all deep. This is it right here. We get lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. Okay. That's it right there. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to move these over because this is bugging me for some reason. Come on, my boy. All right, bet. So let's go ahead. Boom. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. Well, actually, yeah, this is perfect. Okay, cool, guys. So this is the market structure that I have right now. We can see we're uptrending, right? Boom, uptrending. We want to continue trend. Now, notice what we got here, guys. Notice how market is slowly making structure on the way down, right? I feel like I'm playing a, a game of Sega. Yeah. It's, I mean, if you want to be that comfortable, you know, I want you to be as comfortable as you can be in the market. You know what I'm saying? So as market is coming down, we get lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. And it's now in my zone, guys. Right. When you see this, I want you to see some type of structure. See if you can see some type of trend line liquidity. Right. It may not always look like the drawings that I give you guys. Right. It may be consolidation. Right. Drop consolidation, drop, you know, upward consolidation. Right. We need to be able to find some type of liquidity on the way down that can give us some strong confirmation that market actually wants to continue and head back up. Right. So. This right here, guys, I'm going to delete that. A lot of this right here, guys, is just going to be liquidity. I still want to incorporate a lot of this stuff, right? So, okay, cool. We found our liquidity, and this gives us some confidence. You know, the market wants to continue up in our favor, okay? Now, let's go ahead and focus on the structure. We get lower low, lower high, lower low. Now, we know we need to go ahead and change character in this area. We need th that break and close above. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out. Mark is starting to head back up. Oh, snap, news hit. I'm just kidding. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> 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 I don't know how that happened, bro. That's funny. So, look, boom. We finally changed character in that area. Right? We changed character in that area. We get lower low lower high, lower low, and we now break and close above, right? We now break and close above to the moon. Yeah, exactly. That's, a, that's exactly what we want to see. So awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now, this is just a drawing, yes. But where is, where is my swing low in this area, guys? Where's my swing low? Let me know. The red or the green candle? The red candle. The red candle is my swing low, right? So look, check this out. We do get a breakout rally. So technically, yes. We'll just move this and adjust. Actually, no, let's keep that there. And we'll just layer up. Because this is exactly how it's going to be, guys. Like in, in the market, this is exactly how you're going to see it. Okay, so let's just delete that. We don't need that in the way. We don't need this in the way. Okay, so we get this breakout rally right here, right? Breakout rally. Guys, would this last selling candle be your starting point? Yep. Yes. Okay, awesome. So now that's one opportunity we can take in the market. Okay, we got lower low, lower high. Lower low, change of character. Do we have another opportunity in the market, guys? What do we have? Who 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 knows it? Yes, we have um um a sh a shoulder area. 
Yes, sir. We have some type of a shoulder area in this in this zone. Awesome. Now we have one more opportunity, guys. If this is my swing low, level should help me out and say this is my swing low. I think it'll be like a red or I think it's red or blue or red or green or something like that. I'm not sure. But it'll say, yo, this is your swing low. Okay, cool. The candle directly to the left is going to be my value box, right? So in the last example, it was a starting point. But in this example, we have a starting point, a shoulder, and a value box right on top of each other. Trust me, guys. Like, you don't have to trade all of the zones. You don't. But when I'm trying to teach you confirmation, you know, when you can see these three things, you're like, oh, snap, that's fire. You know, and then we see the liquidity and we want to continue trend. You're like, oh, snap, that's fire, right? That's fire. So this right here is going to be my value box. Let's just make this like yellow right now. Let's delete this because I know that's going to be a little much. But does this make sense, fam? So now we have confirmation to what we want to see, right? We get lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, breakout. Anywhere within this zone, guys, we can start taking some trades. And that's exactly what we want to see. Right there. Does that make sense, fam? Yes, sir. Now, this is exactly yep. what we want to see off of a buy zone, right? This is like this is literally picture perfect what we want to see. But let's just say you're like, yo, Vinny, this is this is kind of a big zone, bro, from 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 right here to way down here, that's pretty big. I'm like, you know what? I understand that, you know? But it, that whole area technically would be considered your buy zone, right? So what what can you do as a trader, you know, to, to get yourself more precise? Well, you can drop down to a lower time frame. Right now, what, as soon as you have your whole setup, guys, like you're good. Like you already found the buy zones. Now it's time to be a, a, like an investigator, right? Where What is the market going to do on the way back down? And all we care about are pullbacks, guys. Let's not, we're not trying to look for nothing crazy. Let's focus on the pullbacks. Let's keep it simple, guys. Now, if market wants to change character off of here, boom, we can now use this zone and continue with the market. Take it up. Now, if that wants to happen right here, Cool. We'll take it up. Either one of those, guys. All we have to wait is for market to shift. And now we can start looking for some buy opportunity. Does that make sense, fam? And I still want to keep these charts as detailed as possible for you guys. I feel like that is very, that is something that uh, we need to start doing. Because when you have clean mark, or the clean charts, guys, it's very easy. Um, to see where your shoulder should be, and you're going to be a lot more confident. Boom. So we had a bearish BOS, right, that broke out, and then we had a bullish change of character. Boom. So now this tells us right here, oh, man, we can go ahead and continue with some buys. Guys, does this make sense? Oh, question. What's up? Question. Hey, Benny. Um, I just wanted to ask, like, say for ex ex for example, if if the market hit um our um our um um our our mm -hmm. um our our like our like starting a point a zone over there on the a bottom, um, and are, are we still looking for the break and a retest for like a break and uh? A extra, extra a form of a confirm, a comfort location as well. Yeah, so or, you're talking about you're talking about a buy off of this zone, right? No, uh, off the what? Uh, let me see if I could draw on your this one right here. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here? That yeah, one. So yeah, that one. Yeah. So now this would be like your macro setup, right? Like you already mm -hmm. found you already found the next setup. So as soon as yeah. the market wants to come back inside this area, yeah. We can go ahead and test trade it if we if we want to. Mm -hmm. If you're not really into tra test trading, that's okay. Yeah. But now, 
this is what we have to do, and we have to focus on the pullbacks on the way down. Okay, okay. Right? So yeah, on, yeah. The, on the way down, we need to go ahead and focus on these and mark these up. Okay. Because as soon as market wants to go ahead and, and start heading back up, we want to we want to know. Boom. Now, as soon as we get this, yeah, we can and go ahead and look back down. Okay, okay. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right? But we already found a solid area for the next buys. Yeah, okay. Makes sense? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, 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 for sure. Gotcha. All right, bet. You guys want to go look for some examples? Yep. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I was going to say. I want to see this on a live chart. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. No, go ahead. Let's go. You have asked before, but on the rally up, would you consider that also the same thing as the order block for smart money? Yeah, like the, this last selling handle? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Is there anything specifically called that that was? The it's the starting point. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope you guys did you were you guys able to hear that? I don't think he unmuted. But he asked no, uh, this rally really. of, okay, he asked this rally of candles, this last selling candle, would that be considered like a, uh, an order block for smart money? And I and that would be yes. Uh, an order block, supply and demand, starting point, they're all the same thing, right? So, uh, smart money will call them order blocks or supply and demand, and levels is gonna call them starting points. So it's the same. It's the same thing. Speak the same. We, see, we speak the same language, you and I. Let's go ahead. Let's look at some uh, low key. Some some yens have been looking pretty good lately. I ain't gonna lie to you, because they've been they've been trending, right? So let's let's see what they what they got going. I always like to start on the higher time frames, guys. Right, always. Um, but let's see. I feel like, yeah. Let's just go ahead and start on higher time frames. I never want to miss anything. Like, okay, see, so right here, we can see market is uptrending, right? This is we can easily see this. So what should we be looking for overall? Right? Some buys. Now, some the thing is, guys, sometimes we're gonna be able to see some type of reversal sell opportunities on the way back down, right? And you can catch those, right? You definitely can catch those. But a lot of the big trades that you're going to want to take is the ones that continue trend somewhere, right? The ones that are going to be able to help you continue trend, right? Because in the long run, those are going to be um, the trades that you're going to be able to hold. You know what I'm saying? These are setups. Yes, you can take, but they're going to be more of, you know, shorter holds. And nothing's wrong with that. You know, you could definitely take those if you want, but you got to know that at some point, this counter trend trade is going to have to and with the continuation trade. Does that make sense, guys? Right? So for me, uh, check EJ. Okay, I got you. I'll check it after this. For me personally, I'm not really interested in a lot of counter trend trades uh, lately, to be honest, because one, I don't really want to trade every day. And and two, I, I would just rather wait, you know, for the continuation. And But that's just me. You know, I know a lot of people um, will like the counter trend trade on higher time frame because it, it, it can move you know, a, a good amount of pips back down. Like this is AJ. So this is about 500, 600 pips back down, right? Which is very, very solid. But at the same time, we just went up 670 pips, right? So we already passed that, right? But again, that's totally up to you and that's optional. Does that make sense, guys? I just want to make that known real quick. All right, cool. So one, we're uptrending. So let's go ahead. This is solid. This is solid right here. Now let's just focus on this structure because this is what we see at the moment, right? Now, this is one thing that I see right here with this structure. One, let's go ahead and delete these. I see two blue arrows, which means we should press blue box. So we can see here, we actually get a starting point and levels is letting us know, which is super, super solid, right? But we're able to see that now. You know, we're able to see that now. We've done our studies. We take our notes. And now we're able to see this type of stuff, right? So, boom. This could have been your move here on the weekly time frame. But look, check me out, guys. Look at the structure on the way down. Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Okay, cool. So this is my lower low. So in order to change character and continue up, we need to break and close above. 
and we do, right? Which is solid. We get that change of character confirmation. So let's go ahead and mark that up. Bullish change of character. Keep that blue. Okay, cool. So we do go lower, and this is a bearish BOS. Awesome. Cool, 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 guys. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. Guys, we get a, a bullish breakout right here. Right? Bullish breakout. Would this be considered a starting point? Would this be considered a starting point, guys? Yes, it would. Yes. Yeah, so look, we got one opportunity right there. Boom. Smacker. Right? Smacker. Now, look, check me out, guys. Look at the structure that we have. Lower low, lower high, lower low. Now, it's not always as clean as this, right? It actually took some time and made its way, but it's still broken close above. So uh, what else do we got? Let's just delete this. We have a shoulder. Now, yes, this is the weekly, so I don't really use weekly shoulders. Usually, I usually take them all the way back down to the four hour, which is usually something like this. Um, but that's also an opportunity, right? But we also have one more. Let's go ahead and I'll choose our weapon and press value box. Boom. It's saying, yo, this is your swing low. So this whole box right here, this whole box, this green candle, it's on the red candle, but it, it's, it should be on this green one. This is your value box. Right. Obviously, a weekly zone is going to give you a way bigger zone, but there should be something down here as well. So let's just go ahead and hop down there. Let's go to the four hour. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right. Oh, shoot. Too far, too far, too far. Come on, come on, come on. My bad, fam. Whenever I uh, stream over here, and then, um, yeah, I don't know why. Every time I stream over here, it kind of lags a little bit, but it's all good. But look, guys, boom, right here. This is our value box. Or, I'm sorry, my swing low. This is my swing low right here, this red candle. Boom. It's even letting me know with this arrow. Right now, where is my value box? It's always going to be the candle directly to the left of the swing low. So, boom, this red one right here. Now, the thing is with the value box, guys. The rules are a little different to take buys than the shoulders and the starting points. You don't need a change of character off the main structure. All you need is a break and close above of the starting uh, of the uh, value box. So this is my value box right here. All we need is to break and close above, and now we can use the zone to buy. So this consolidation that was happening right here, the value box is holding it down. That value box is holding it down. The value box is holding it down, baby. And we sending it back up. Right? Obviously, you can see there's going to be a ton of value boxes, guys. That's why I like to um, stick with the trend. Um, well, some are going to be inside consolidation, too, to be honest. So you really want to take the, the, the swing highs and the swing lows. So you can see every time it's going to bounce off anywhere in the market and drop down, it makes one, right? It makes one. That's why you got to pay attention to the ones that are more relevant. So when I go up to a time frame, a lot of those are going to be gone. And we can see it's still calling the ones that are in consolidation, right? Which is very important to, to understand the structure, right? Lower low, lower high, lower low. And now we need to break and close above. So this is my main swing high nothing inside of here, right? So that's why it's very important to understand the structure as well. 
and, and the ones we should be taking, which is only swing highs and swing lows, nothing inside of consolidation, right? Um, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go to live price now. Let's turn these off a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's see. I do like this structure right here that we got. Because we do break and close above right here. Right, which gives us a starting point in this area. And we do, we do hit stop loss. If you're putting your stop loss here. But we do end up going our way. It doesn't end up going our way, right? So this would be the area I would like to change character. And we do get that, which is really, really nice for us. So when it comes to the shoulder looking at this, it's going to be a lot uglier. But I can see it, right? When you guys see some liquidity being going up to the upside or any time market is going higher, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, consolidation, and we end up dropping down to pick this up, pick up this starting point, all of this right here, guys, becomes my shoulder. Does that make sense? All of this becomes my shoulder, right? So let's go ahead. I'll move this box up. That's going to be my shoulder area. Cool. So that's my shoulder. We get that change of character. Awesome. So where did we get, where's our starting point, right? How did we get right here? We can see we get a breakout rally. And this last selling candle right here would be my starting point. Boom. And it's chilling right there right now. It's holding it down as we speak. Right. But again, we still got some room to go if you really want to get this shoulder, which is, you know, not bad in my opinion, because I also see this one. A lot of consolidation, consolidation, drop. And notice how the shoulder is literally right on top of this shoulder. All right. So I kind of like it. I like the setup. It's not bad. I kind of like how the yellow looks on, on the chart too. It's just pretty clean. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and drop down to a lower time frame real quick. Go to the four hour. We really didn't have to, but you know, we we can. So notice how it was chilling on this daily starting point. Look at all this, guys. All this consolidation. All of this. Right? Now notice how we drop and close below to clear some of that. Now if we can go ahead and break and close above, you know, let's see if we can go ahead and continue trend. Right? So we did get this bearish BOS. Now, we need this change of character. Now, as soon as we get this change of character, guys, you guys can change, need change of character to change of character. This is just telling us this is what we need, right? So we're not lost. Let it do whatever it wants to do inside of here, right? If you didn't catch any buys or if you got stopped out, you know, you can be aggressive if you choose to, but I would rather you wait until we get confirmation. As soon as we break and close above, now, if we break and close above, with the rally, what should be somewhere in this area? If we break and close above with the rally, there should be some type of starting point in this area. So it should come back for us no matter what, right? If you're going to be aggressive, right, you better take some type of partials because it's definitely going to come back and pick us up and take off, right? But as of right now, guys, there technically is no... Um, buy opportunity just yet, right? Because we definitely cleared, cleared a lot of this and we haven't got that confirmation yet. All this comp all this consolidation is shoulder, all of it. The head, as soon as we break and close above, we can now start looking for a starting point or this right shoulder so we can continue up higher. But as of right now, let it just do its thing, right? Let it do its thing because we still have some room to the downside that can potentially give us some some solid swing action. So I'm not really trying to be too aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, this that's what I'm looking at right now um, with uh, AJ. And even on the daily, look at this. On the four hour, it didn't really look as clear. But look at this, guys. Um, 
we do break and close above, right? Or I'm sorry, we break and close below. So that would be a rally breakout. So this green candle is technically my starting point. Now, we do break and close below this daily starting point, right? So technically it has been violated. So again, I would just wait for confirmation, guys. Wait for confirmation, okay? They said check EJ. And you guys are gonna lot you guys are like I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like, why doesn't he drop anything lower than like the four hour? Because honestly, if you guys like understand and you guys start seeing like consolidation, you really don't want to even want to look inside of that. Like you shouldn't even be trying to catch sales uh to buys if they're that close, you know, like just wait for the better opportunity. Oh man, this is dope. I thought this was a higher time frame. I was like, shoot, this is going to be a smacker. Weekly time frame, guys. Always go to the higher time frame to see some type of um, bias. All right, higher time frame bias. We can see, obviously, we are bullish right now. Super, super solid. All right, super solid. Now, one thing I'm seeing right here is a rally breakout. So this would become a starting point here. That's still fresh. Now, notice how we're not really, we, we did leave. And we came right back inside this area. Now we did take off, right? But if we don't break and close above this, guys, and we reject and come lower, all of this, in my eyes, would be considered consolidation. We bounced off of support. Now, if we reject off of anywhere inside of this and start coming back down, all of this on the weekly would be considered consolidation, right? Not saying that you can't catch any one hour, four hour setups back down because, you know, that would be way. Uh, better than trading like the 15 minute or the one hour um setups because we're trying to catch um some of these moves down right that's if you're looking to take some um counter trend trades back down right but as of right now these buys don't look too bad we do have some type of uh trend line trading here which is cool you know this is something that we could wait for on the weekly right this isn't bad at all but now let's start going back down to lower time frame because one market is bullish, right? So market is taking off. So if we want to go ahead and continue trend, obviously we would like to get this BOS, right? Bullish rally. This red candle is my starting point. BOS. Now I would like to see if we could take some type of buys to continue and break above, right? Because if market was going to continue with that bullish rally, you know, this is the last buying st or selling starting point in this area on the weekly that can give us that. You know, but again, if we hit this and we reject off here and come back down, all of this is just going to make this setup even better. You know, because that's real time for a real higher time frame consolidation. Now let's drop down to lower time frame. Actually, let's just mark that up real quick. We get a bullish BOS. Bullish BOS, solid. So this last um, selling candle would become my starting point, which is nice. So let's just focus on this, guys, right? On the weekly, this is what we're waiting for. Now, on the lower time frame, guys, what we're going to want to see is market structure break down. That's what we want to see, okay? So we go back down to the daily time frame. It's saying that my starting point is actually here. Right, which is not bad, but I still like this one because there's an imbalance in here as well. And if we focus on the structure, let's just get this out the way. If we focus on the structure, we get lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then we get a starting point right here when we break and close above this area. So, you know, I'm liking this zone right here. This is a daily starting point. So that's pretty good. Right on top. What a, a question. Um, I was going to ask if. If uh if the market hits hits your zone and doesn't doesn't um doesn't um have a change of a character, are you are you are you like, is that just um it just is that just um telling you that uh the trades are gonna gonna um get a, a clapped or or is there like a, a is that like well a, a because like the change of character helps a confirm 
a comfort like nation on the trade, right? It's so if you uh, don't get that, then like what happens after that? Like you, well, yeah, you, might, you might get stop lost or you might be in some drawdown. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what yeah. you have to be aware of. You know, okay. some, sometimes let's just say boom, lower low, lower high. We're able to get into the trade and market gives us some profit, right? Yeah. Now let's just say it wants to go just a bit lower, right? Yeah. So when you see market rejecting and we're not breaking above this, mm -hmm. you're like now you have to know, okay, I might have some trouble. I may, okay. I may hit a break even. I yeah. might have to look for a re-entry or I may have to hold somebody uh, a little bit of drawdown, uh -huh. right? But okay. as soon as we break and close above, yes, okay, sir. now we're like, all right, let's 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 go ahead and start looking for some more setups here. Okay. All right. Then. Awesome. Cool, cool. All right. Cool, man. Gotcha. Yes, sir. So Thank, this you. Is looking, Thank you. Yeah, man, for sure. This is pretty cool. We can see even right here, bro. I mean, level was called this one. This is kind of held down. So they held it down right there. So let's just take a look and see what's good. Let's go to the four hour time frame. All right, bet. So I like this one because it lines up with that daily, the daily setup. Mm, let's see. This would be the starting point to the cell. Yeah, but see, now you're going to be fighting against the trend. You know, so he just said, he did, he had just stated that he would be looking for cells at this point, right? But technically, we don't break any structure to the downside that gives us confirmation for cells, right? So that's where, that's big, that's one tip, right? If we don't break structure to the left, that's telling us change of character, right? Because look, where's my structure at? We get higher high and higher low. So technically, cells come into play as soon as we break and close below here, right? So anything within that, we could continue to look for bias. So let's go ahead. This would be my daily um, starting point. Let's drop down below. Mm. We do break and close below this one right here. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. As the market's coming up, we get a higher high, higher low. We go higher and we change character with this red candle right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and shrink that daily to this four hour. Boom. So now let's go ahead. Right, we need a break and close above this in order to continue some more buys. Now we may have some trouble, right? And again, we already know the daily zone is like this big anyway. So you know, we want some confirmation. You know what I'm saying? We definitely want some confirmation. But as of right now, market isn't looking that bad. Look, even like this, this is a perfect example of what, what you, of what you just asked, right? Look at this. Check me out. Market drops down and pulls back, right? Market drops lower and puts you in your setup. Now you're in profit, right? But look, we can see a starting point here. We're like, okay, well, we have to break and close above this one. Now, if you didn't take any partials at this zone, right, you're going to have some type of trouble. You may hit break even. You may have to look for a re-entry, right? Now, we can see that doesn't break and close above. Now, it definitely almost did. Definitely almost did. But almost isn't good enough when it comes to trading. You want to see that confirmation. We want to see that thing. Okay, we here now, boy. We, we broke and closed above now. We out of here. We out of here, boss. We gone. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to see little, little wicks, you know? I don't. I forgot what movie that's from, but I'm going I'm to call you almost. <laughs> almost isn't good enough, my boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we want, we want that break and close above. Right? So, no, look, check me out. We were trying to break and close above this one. But notice how this zone holds it down. We get uh, resistance and we go lower. We go lower. Right? Maybe you get stopped out. And that's fine. We might have to look for a re-entry. Now, there's most likely one in here. But now we have to break and close above this. 
Boom, we finally got that. So now look at what it's telling us. It was telling us look for some cells, which it definitely gave, to, okay, we now got that change of character. We broke and close above this. Now we could switch our bias from cells to bias. Exactly. We got that change of character. That's good stuff. We got that change of character. So we got, let's see, we got bearish BOS. Mark it up clean, guys. Mark it up clean. Because anytime you see a BOS, guys, it's always going to be your shoulder, right? This right here is going to be my shoulder. So when you mark it up clean, you're already going to know, oh, that's my shoulder zone right there. Oh, that would be a last change of character. Boom. We got the change of character. So, boom, we have a starting point here. We already know this starting point was used. We could delete that, but now we have a shoulder. So if EJ wants to go ahead and continue up from there, you know, we got the confirmation to to continue up. Now, hopefully these can respect and we can continue. But if not, if those were the frauds right there, boy, we got some right here. So don't be alarmed. Like I said, until we break and close and change character right here, we can continue to look for some buys. All right. This is why we take opportunities as they come, because just because it missed this zone, Right, we're looking at this zones at these zones on the four hour, but we, we could have hit a daily or weekly starting point right here and markets respecting the area. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like to say stick to some higher time frames because once they're in a higher time frame zone, now you can start looking for some type of reversals. Because when you're stuck to the one hour or anything less, sometimes even the four hour, like I'm looking for buys right here. I mean, technically it would be way down here and right here on the four hour. And we just missed, right? But if we go to the weekly, let's see what's up. If we go to the weekly, we can see this whole red candle from here to here is the zone. And we were still shy, right? So just keep that in mind, guys. Oh, snap. We froze. But, yeah, this is not bad um, at all, especially because we got some equal highs here as well. Yes, sir. So this is cool. This is definitely, definitely cool. Now, if we can break above this starting point as well, guys, oh, man, that's even better because now a lot of the sell starting points are getting violated. So let them go get clapped, guys. Let them get clapped. We just wait here. We wait here, guys, right? Until we see some more buy opportunities, that level is letting us know, or until we can see some more starting points where it's like, okay, now there's a starting point here. Let's go ahead. Until then, we're just waiting here, guys, okay? We're waiting. We're coasting. We're coasting. Does that make sense, guys? Let's go, Reggie. I see you, bro. Reggie. Bro, Reggie. Can't let Coach call us out like that, bro. You're, you're, you're going to get me yelled at, and I'm going to I'm gonna have to yell at you, bro. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, bro. Let's go ahead and look at some gold. Coach was trying to put him on the spot, and then he, I don't know what happened. His connection got, he told me, he, he said, Oh, the connection messed up. He said, The connection messed up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, Vinny, you're going to have to get with the coach. Did uh, the emotional damage move? Oh, yeah, he did. He definitely did. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're on the daily time frame right now. Let's go to the weekly real quick. So we can see definitely bullish, guys. Definitely bullish. Now, look at how easy trading could be, guys, honestly. Like, if you really want to be honest, guys, look at how easy this is. Did we just get a, a BOS to continue trend? Yes or yes, bro? Yes or yes? Yes. Guys, what what is what is this candle right here, bro? What is that candle right there? My starting point. Look at that. Look at, would you look at that? <laughs> Boom. Now we're waiting, right? Now I'm still waiting on this right here. Now if it comes, it comes. And if it don't, it don't. But I'm still waiting on it. I, I She ain't going to fool me. 
Whenever it comes down there, I'll be ready, my boy. Why? Why that zone? Look at this, guys. Do we break and close above? Yeah. Do we hit a starting point? Yeah. Look at, do we break and close above? Yeah. Do we hit a starting point? Yes, we do, but it never comes back from my shoulder, right? So opportunity one was taken. If opportunity two wants to come back in the future, any time in the future, guys, any time, I'm ready to take that. Any time, right? Does not matter. Notice how this weekly zone right here was already taken and bounced off of twice. So I'm either taking this one, and if that gets clapped, I already know where that shit's going. I'm waiting. We buying right there, my boy. Some bricks. Ah. All right, but look, guys, notice how we just broke and closed above and made new highs. Do not be surprised if we just start chilling and arranging and start slightly going down and, and arranging, okay? Do not be surprised. I'm telling you, like, don't, don't be surprised if we do this shit again. Let's go back up. Look, this was new highs right here. That was new highs. Do not be surprised if this shit happens again. Okay? Do not be surprised. Just letting you know that right now. When you're saying gold's toxic, I'm going to be like, you're trading inside consolidation. Please get on a higher time frame and look at what market is really doing. So now we have the four hour, right? So we can see here, market actually, our levels is actually letting me know we got some starting points to play with, which is cool, right? Which is cool. I like these, right? This right here is a starting point. We have a starting point right here. All right, my boy, drop safe. Now we can see, can I go on an eight hour time frame? Oh, I can't. We can see right here, this is the closest starting point that we have. And then we have one right below it. Oops. And then we have one right below it, right here. Right. So let's see. All right. And then we have one right here as well. So the thing is with this, guys, notice how there's going to be a grip, right? Let's just take a look. Let's just mark these up. And then there's one down here. So look, on the four hour, there's three in this area. But on the daily, there's zero. And the daily is down here with the weekly, right? So the daily and weekly starting point are, are in the zone. Let's just keep that in mind right here, right? Right? They can possibly save this zone for later. We don't know. We just have to be ready. Now, because market is consolidating, we can actually see it's creating some trend line liquidity right now. We can see market is bouncing off this area. So let's go ahead and mark that up. Boom, and then we got the same thing, and it's dropping down low. So it's it's being trapped inside this trend line. Traders, people who are trading this pattern, whatever the case may be, right? So because of these small risk to awards, these are actually pretty good, in my opinion, if you were looking to test trade these. This is how it should be, right? I mean, even if you're looking at trading at the 50 with TPs up to here. Even if you want to stretch it out a little bit, this is something I would do because I'm not a fan of super, super tight stop losses. So this is something I would do. You know? If you want to test trade these. Test trades are under leverage trades, guys. Under leverage trades. And then you could even put one down here as well if you want. Now that's what, that's an option. You can test trade those, meaning you're going to potentially lose a couple of dollars to see if you're going to be right on the zone. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. We, we're finding these zones and we're going to take the opportunities as they come under leverage to yes. see if these are the zones that are to see if that's the right zone. Or you can wait for a confirmation. Focus on the structure. Right. Again, what if boom, starting point right here. We go lower. What if it hits this zone but never breaks and closes above? We know we're going to have some trouble. We might have to get out early, partial out move stop loss and profit because we might go lower. Same thing may happen. You know, same thing may happen. Wait for that uh, confirmation. 
so we can go ahead. Oops. So we can go ahead and enter with some confidence. Does that make sense, guys? Now, I mean, I'll be I'll be for real. Like, if you're not really into test trading, that's okay. Like, that's totally, totally fine. Just wait for the setup. Wait for whatever time frame you like to trade, five minute, 15, that hour. Just wait for this to happen. Just wait. Be patient, because as soon as this wants to go ahead and reverse, boom, we already know what we want to see. We want to take it back up. You know what I'm saying? Now, this can happen. Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong one. Now, this can happen on any one of these zones, right? That's why we need to be ready. This can happen on, on, on the, darn it, <laughs> on this zone. It can happen on this zone, or it can happen on this zone, right? Or it can go past all of these things and come right back down. But as of right now, on the four hour, these are the starting points that are the closest to market structure, right? So in my eyes, this is pretty solid, especially with the risk to award. This is pretty solid. I'm liking this setup. Does anybody have any questions? Let me know, guys. Let me know, let me know. Let me know or let me go. We're good. All right, my boy. So if you test trade and gets clapped, but you then get the change of character, would you use the same SL uh, for the retest entry? No, you definitely want to stay um, updated, right? So let's just say, right, you get in right here. Boom, you get in. Now you end up getting clapped, right? Yeah. Boom. Now market wants to go ahead and, and reverse. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of using this as your stop loss, you're going to use this wick as your stop loss. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, bro. Yeah, you're going to want to stay fresh with the market structure that's happening right inside of here rather than the one that just got violated. All right, for sure. Awesome, bro. Awesome, bro. Uh, looks like a falling wedge. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like, bro. That's that's a good eye. So when you see stuff like that, mark it up, right? Because other people are going to be trading inside of that. This is called liquidity, bro, right? So when you see something like that, you got to ask yourself, where am I on the market? Where am I? Is market uptrending or downtrending? We're uptrending. So if we're uptrending, what should we be looking for, guys? Buys, right? So if market is right here right now in a falling wedge and we're looking for buys, we have to be looking down. Look down. Where's our next best buy opportunity? Because at some point, market's going to have to go ahead and sweep this liquidity and then start reversing our way. Does that make sense, guys? Bit, 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 bit. Yep, it does. Awesome, guys. All right. That is it for me, fam. Let's see. That is it for me, guys. I hope you guys learned a little something today. I thought tonight was a cool call, actually. The market structure was there. The questions were there, and it was pretty solid. Um, for those who are in Cali, bro, I hope to see you guys this Sunday. I'm telling you Of course, you guys, bro. Of course, bro. I'll be there. My tias, I'm telling all my OG <laughs> clients who are into freaking box, uh, stocks and bonds and shit. I'm like, bro, you got to go. They're going to be handing out bonds out there, bro. You got to slide by. <laughs> hey, come, come through, bro. No, bro, for sure, bro. I'll see you then, bro. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Oh, yeah. Sir. All right, my guys. I will see you guys on Monday. You guys have a blessed weekend, and I hope to see you guys there at the event this Saturday. Peace and love, family. Let's get it.